Grav Panics with the two month resub. Appreciate it, bro. Super awesome. See you digging Apex again. I've been like I've, I've been really enjoying Apex this whole season, but I just haven't been able to play um I haven't been able to play as much as I want to this season because I've been moving. If I hadn't moved, I still would have been streaming every day and probably maintaining rank one. But the move has been kind of kind of stressful. I've been all right. I'm really really happy lately. But yeah, chat. Once we're situated in in like my new house, when I you know when I apply and get a get a spot, what we're gonna do? The first stream at the house is going to be a subathon. Okay. A full-on subathon, no breaks. We're gonna sleep, obviously, but no, like, you know, none of the stuff I did before where, like, I went offline to spend a little time with family, nothing like that. We're gonna do a full-on subathon. I'm gonna get cams set up in the kitchen. I'm gonna get cams set up in multiple rooms. We're gonna have multiple scenes. We're gonna have sub incentives. We're probably gonna do a little cooking stream. Whenever I go to the kitchen or, like, cook food or do whatever, it'll be on stream. I think somebody's 55 hour long stream, yeah. I think, like. Alright. Chat, I'm gonna get flack for the words that are about to come out of my mouth, okay? I'm gonna get shit from some of you. Alright. So, while it's really cool, like what Timmy did, um, I think it kind of. Uh, it's obviously really unhealthy. But it kind of proves the point that a lot of streamers have where we feel pressured to stay on for extreme lo extremely long amounts of time in order to have more successful streams. Because once you're a certain size, unless you do like crazy stunts like that, you kind of just like stay the same. Unless you're just like drastically growing, like there's outliers to that, like Hal and Lulu and people like that. But people like me, people like... Nice wig. I feel like we would have to do crazy stunts like what Timmy does in order to like see drastic growth. Especially when it comes to sub count. That guy got laid out. <laughs> I I think it's really cool what Timmy did, but it kind of sets a meta for like the Twitch Apex category. I feel. Like he went from 6k subs to 17k subs in one stream. And that kind of encourages other people to do the same and promotes a really unhealthy kind of lifestyle, I feel. That's my only like gripe with it. Cause like when I did my when I did my thing, like at least I was like sleeping, you know. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. I was trying to be healthy about it. That's no hate to Timmy. Timmy knows that he's my fucking boy. He's also bringing higher level production value than many other streamers, camera switching, video cues, etc. Yeah, there's no denying that, of course, yeah. I never said he didn't. I just think that it's, um, it just creates like a, like I said, it just creates a meta. Like the meta is to just like do a super long stream, stay awake for as long as possible, and try to do something crazy in that time frame. Like for example, right, I'll use myself as an example instead of Timmy. When I did my subathon, right? We stayed live for what, three days? Something like that? It was like three or four days almost, right? And at the time, before the subathon, I was at like 16, 1600, 1800 subs. But doing a stunt, which was the subathon, as well as grinding for rank one, brought us up to 3000. It's like you're kind of like, you're, it, there's a meta on Twitch. Doing like that crazy kind of stuff is really, yeah. Like it's an unhealthy meta, but it's how you actually like have to. B to grow. It's weird. Once you're at a certain point. You know what I look like. Creativity I'm equals stunt. Me. Well, staying awake for like an extreme amount of time is a stunt, no? Like his stunt was staying awake for 50 hours and getting Predator in one stream. That's a stunt. 
This is gonna be a thirsty team, dude. We gotta play super tight. Yeah? Yeah, they got like three preds, I think, was what it was. The, the, the three stack pred. Okay, I'm gonna grapple to the right bins and grab nuts. You guys wanna lean right? right. I'll be right behind ya. One shot in midroom. One shot in midroom. He didn't go down. Oh wow, it's like that. Did you guys get one? You got it. You got it. I think it's you versus them. No, man, that box. I didn't realize it was a box there. They padded. Wow, that dead slide. I'm stuck. That uh, fucking lag, man. I lost so much of my health before I even, like... What the hell, dude? Why am I getting shredded? No, it's not. It's the Wi-Fi. During that, like, little freeze frame, I, I just lost three-fourths of my health, man. I was shooting as he climbed up, and it just... It wasn't registering because it was frozen on my end. It's so annoying. I did 100 to Seer and 50 to Lifeline, or 50 to Wraith. Uh, Wraith is down. Seer is cocked. Seer is behind this box if you have nades. 70 flash, I'm, I'm gonna push. Oh, dude, that's not good. I cracked one in midroom. I cracked one on the left, too. One's on your door. Behind you, behind you. Okay. Lifeline, come here. I'm gonna give you three arc stars. I want you to nade the fuck out of them. And I'm gonna grapple on their head, okay? One at mid. Here, Paradox, come here. I'm gonna give you nades. I want you to nade the fuck out of them. I'm gonna grapple on them. Just start throwing nades at them. I'm gonna grapple on them. Where did he go? Good job. Learn how to control the L-Star overheat. I mean, I could tap more, right? But I just like don't care to. 
Because, like, odds are if I don't kill them in my big spray, then, like, I'm not going to kill them at all. What is that hit reg? Sierra's one shot. Sierra's 10 health. Down. Last one's on you. Rocks. Nice. <laughs>